Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economic events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forum weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Thanks everybody, let's take a look again on the gold market. So you can see the first signs of the bounce on the daily chart up from the 1838 support area stands in place. So actually yesterday we talked about the chart Napoli pattern. This is daily stretch support. And in general, we already discussed a few times the importance of this level. So why it's a crucially important for short term, medium term perspective uh, and why for a gold market to keep uh, the bullish setup, bullish context is crucial to form something here, some bullish sign and hold about this area and start our prediction. In this case, it will be able to uh, keep on the bullish way. Otherwise, the breaking down of this level suggests that the monthly pattern, bullish pattern might be erased, might, might, could fail and uh, in this case, we should be ready for significantly deeper retracement on the gold market. So everything stands on the table currently. Uh, all bets here and actually we just need to keep an eye on and see what will happen. So uh, on the follow time from chart yesterday we talked about the patterns. So first of all we said it's also agreement support since market is completed XOP which makes it stronger. Second, although it's a bit choppy but we have double repo buy pattern. It suggests deep upper action. So we said it should be at least 50% maybe slightly higher, so it's around 19 even. That's approximate target of double repo patching. Yesterday also we discussed the possible bounce down and the first touch of the resistance. So we said that that might be the good point to take the long position if you have missed opportunities to go along with the patching. And indeed, once we have stopped our discussion, you can see market has shown the pullback. So currently here, everything stands the same as yesterday. Patterns are valid. But uh, today it will be a bit uh, more simple to control the price performance and mostly because of the price action on the hourly chart. So take a look actually what has happened recently. That's the sell off that we have promised. So once market reached this resistance, here was the FIB level as well. Uh, initially we thought that maybe market could form some spike here and start downward action right from the OP in 1871. It's agreement resistance. But you can see downward action has started a bit earlier. And with this downward drop, market has retest this trend line and shows the deep retracement that we have suggested. Currently, guys, as all the sell off has been played back up again, this market return right back up, by the overall price me mechanics, how price should behave if market stands bullish, gold should not show any other deep retracement. So, because major retracement already has happened here, it has retested the line. So any drop further back down to the trend line and return back to the maybe this price action range will be the sign of weakness. And uh, in this case, chances on the failure of the stops that we have and downward continuation will increase significantly. The one thing that we could accept with the pullback, it might be just minor pullback. So from this leg, it could be either 30%, 30% maybe 6 8%, but not more. So market should stay inside the range of the swing. Only in this case, uh, the bullish context will be valid and we uh, could proceed with our bullish scenario. Drop below this area, taking out of these lows, raising of this, uh, re-establishing of the status quo uh, will mean the weakness and will mean that sentiment probably is broken right now. So uh, that's the thing that we could keep an eye on today. Uh, another reason for that is because, take a look here, you actually uh, have the shape of the bullish engulfing pattern. So some kind of the fast drop and fast return. So this is the type of the bullish engulfing shape. And usually when the market forms it, it could show the minor pullback inside of the body, but not totally erasing of the pattern. That's additional reason for, uh, for, for, for our suggestion that market should 
stay somewhere inside of this recent uh, prediction. So that's what we have on the gold market. Overall bullish context is not broken yet. The market should reestablish our prediction, but it is crucial for the market to stay above the levels that we have specified today. And let's see uh, what the performance will be on market in today's session.